Thank you for being here. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. A new tropical wave moving into the Caribbean. I'll track some of the rain with it initially, but especially as this works its way off toward the Western Caribbean, we're going to watch out for some signs of development as we get down the road. I want to show you the dust that is in place, another dust plume that is moving. Alvin trying to develop out here. It is a tropical depression, should become Alvin today. I'll show you the tracks on that, the models, the winds inside of that, and get a look at the water temperatures across the Atlantic Basin as we watch our next tropical wave sliding in. Here's a look at what we have going on. We've seen some areas of rain back toward Mexico. We'll uh, slide into Alvin in just a second. Guyana and Suriname, some big areas of rain. Zooming down a little bit closer, here's Dominica. We start out the day on the dry side. Shower storm possible. Could get a passing shower. Barbados, Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, but Trinidad, a couple more possible. But then we swing to the south. Look at this blob of rain that's been moving in. As expected, we were talking about this yesterday, this tropical wave slides in, increased rain, Suriname and Guyana. Heads up, there'll be some flooding. It'll be serious in spots. I'll be watching your comments. So as this, it's not organized, it's not a name system, but big time tropical downpours on top of the rain we've already had. So watching out for the possibility of serious flooding as we go throughout the day. Elsewhere in the tropical Atlantic, watching a couple tropical waves out there, no signs of development. What I am watching though is some of the dust around. I've been watching your comments the last few days. We've had a good amount of dust as we were forecasting uh, together uh, over the last uh, several days or so. Some of the dust creeping into the Gulf. Uh, more so into the Caribbean now. But look at this. This is a big blob of dust, another one moving in. It doesn't suppress the whole hurricane season. Like the tropical waves, you get some dust at times marching across, then it relaxes, then you could get some more dust. It does help initially. It could kind of squash some of the tropical waves, but it doesn't mean we're going to be dealing with this dust all hurricane season. June into July is kind of our dustier time. But as we get into next week, that big plume that is now over the uh, eastern sections of the Atlantic that moves in again toward the Caribbean and this could even drift its way through the Bahamas and parts of the U.S. So we're going to see these rounds of dust. I'll be tracking that for you as we go forward. Giving you the heads up on that. Another round of dust on the way for some of us. Now that next tropical wave that I'm watching moving in right now near Trinidad and Guyana, that'll slide its way through the Caribbean. It will help to add to the moisture, kind of fight off some of the dust. Now eventually as we get into June, the uh, American model, the GFS, still shows this area developing into a tropical storm as it lifts to the north. I'll show you that, but it keeps kind of pushing off the time frame on that, kind of pushing it more and more down the road, which tells me that it's not super accurate. Again, these are models. Uh, I look at the environmental conditions. European model has no storm as of now, but it is starting to pick up some signs of development by about uh, 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 late in the first week into the second week of June. So we're starting to see a, a little bit of a better chance. Here's that European model showing a little more green in here in the Western Caribbean and over toward the Bay and the Southern Gulf. You see here a slightly higher chance of development now by early to mid June. The uh, European model saying, hey, about a 40, maybe 50 50% chance of some development in the Western Caribbean and the American model is developing this area. Water temperatures are super warm in this pocket. That's the concern. It's not just the water. It's what's going on above our heads. If it's hostile up there, that's a good thing. It would prevent development. Uh, with that said, these water temperatures are very, very warm right where this area of rain is going to be as we work our way into June. So that's one of the reasons in particular this area could eventually spin up. But either way, we're going to see a big surge of rain that will be headed in for some of us. It is going to get much more active in June, which we expect. We know that. We're getting into the hurricane season. Let's show you what's going on right now. Here's that tropical wave sliding into the southeastern Caribbean. This is what should become Alvin today. I'll be watching uh, that. We'll uh, slide into that with uh, some of the winds and models in a second. Costa Rica, Panama, some rain. Scattered areas of rain. Cuba, Jamaica will get some. Could even get a few uh, in the Cayman Islands. Then as we get into tomorrow, we see some of that moisture getting close to Trinidad. Guyana and Suriname, we're still dealing with some of the rain. Now be mindful, we still have some of the dust around and some of the dry air. So as this tropical wave moves in, kind of falls apart initially, but it does add a little more moisture in the uh, atmosphere. Still that rain, Guyana and Suriname, Antigua, Barbuda, St. 
St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, Puerto Rico, we're mainly on the dry side. But let's go out in time here further, get into next week. This is by Tuesday. Now you see a couple things here. First thing is we're going to see a big blob of rain right in here. There should be additional development in the eastern Pacific. So there could be a second name storm out here in the eastern Pacific. But then we're going to start to see some of the moisture building simply in the western Caribbean and trying to lift to the north. That's the area that I'll be watching for development. Not seeing any crazy signs of that now, but you can see the rain building here. As we get deeper into next week, this here is a week from now, you see that rain around. The rain will be a welcome sight for some of us that really need to get some of the rain. Of course, as we know in the tropics, uh, we oftentimes get too much too quickly, but this is what I'll be watching for development. Now look what happens as this area here in the eastern Pacific develops and moves away. Get a little pocket of rain lifting to the north. The American model does want to develop this by next weekend, so there could be additional rain near the Cayman Islands, Cuba, uh, Jamaica, and the European model is kind of hinting at some development uh, possible. Nothing imminent, not seeing anything uh, spinning up into a hurricane uh, anytime soon, uh, but this area here of rain, even if it doesn't develop, uh, will be enhanced by those warm water temperatures. This is exactly where I showed you those very warm water temperatures. Now, if something does develop, I'll be able to give you uh, advanced warning of where it will go, what, what it means for us, but as of now, just watching out for an area of rain as we work our way into uh, June. Much more on that in tomorrow's video. Watching this as expected, this here tropical depression one in the eastern Pacific, most of the action staying offshore. Then as this area lifts to the north tomorrow, uh, it should become Alvin later today, but as it lifts to the north, we get that weakening trend out of it. It may help enhance a little bit of rain, parts of Arizona, New Mexico, into parts of Texas where we desperately need it and parts of uh, Mexico as a whole where we need to get some of the rain. Not showing a whole lot here, but it will enhance the chance of rain for some spots that really need to get the rain. Look at the winds inside of this. Here's kilometers an hour and miles per hour on your screen. You see the winds right around, these are mainly the gust, about 50 miles per hour. So we're looking at about 80 kilometers an hour. That's where it should generally hold. And then it kind of lifts up to the north. See a little little bit of red uh, squeaking in. So as we get into late today, early tomorrow, that's when it should peak out. It should become Alvin. Uh, generally, the strong wind staying just offshore. And then you can see this lifting in. Uh, here's uh, Cabo San Lucas. As this lifts to the north by tomorrow and then tomorrow night, it will start to weaken. So by the time we get into Saturday, the core of the winds really starts to uh, weaken and fall apart. And then we'll see how much rain is left as that uh, lifts in. Official forecast track has this uh, becoming a tropical storm and we've been talking about this for days and days and days as that lifts to the north. Models have shifted a little bit more to the west. Uh, that's because it's picking up on the environmental conditions that allow this to go a little bit more to the west. That's why eventually it may enhance some of the rain as we get back toward Arizona. But all the models over time just get into this green shading, making this a tropical storm briefly 24 hours out. So really uh, later today or even 12 hours out uh, later today into uh, tonight and then diminishing. Nothing has this area at this point becoming a hurricane. Now, severe weather potential today. Watching that parts of the east coast of the U.S., some heavier storms. We had some big storms yesterday, parts of Texas over toward Austin, a big hail storm, but watching out for a couple rounds of rain and storms. Here's Bermuda, and you can see some of the rain that will try to nudge closer, but again, a lot of it does diminish. Another severe weather threat east coast of the U.S. Here's that moisture, which uh, could become Alvin as we work our way into Mexico, but watching these areas get getting closer to Bermuda, mainly again to the north of the Bahamas where we have been so dry. And then into the weekend, you see this area lifting up toward the Atlantic region of Canada. And there we go, late on Saturday, Saturday night, a better chance of getting some of that rain as we work our way back toward Bermuda. Seas are gonna be a little bit choppier, nothing super crazy. They will be, here's Bermuda, they will build uh, to the north of Bermuda off the coast of the mid-Atlantic of the US. That's where the seas will build. A little bit choppy Atlantic passageways swinging back toward uh, the uh, Caribbean bumpier and of course with Alvin developing in the eastern Pacific everything does stay elevated. This is as we work our way right into next week. So uh, as we go through the weekend a little bit choppy in some uh, spots. I'm watching the rain totals. This here would be from some thunderstorms. Freeport yeah maybe a couple showers that come off of Florida with those sea breeze storms coming off of Florida but overall the Bahamas that hole again where we're just really on the dry side but that is really allowing those water temperatures to warm up. Hit or miss shower storm Cuba Jamaica 
Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Haiti, and the DR. If we get a thunderstorm, 25 millimeters of rain or an inch of rain possible. Same thing in Puerto Rico, but we're still dealing with some of the dry air and some of the dust around. So Anguilla, St. Martin, uh, over toward uh, St. Bart's, uh, Antigua, and Barbuda, uh, the rain chance stays generally on the low side. We'll see how much of this rain survives the dry air. This tropical wave, as it moves closer to Trinidad, we'll see how much of it hangs together. We're starting to lose its punch, but as we swing to the south, that's where we get some of the higher totals. Again, Guyana and Suriname, we could have some totals of 150 millimeters of rain over the next three days. A lot of that will be today in Guyana. That's why I mentioned the serious flooding that is a potential. Watching out for some of the flooding, 100 millimeters of rain possible. Parts of Costa Rica and Panama, I appreciate your comments. Some spots, not a whole lot. With the uh, terrain, we get some spots that just don't get a lot, while others are getting uh, dumped on. Uh, Yucatan Peninsula, mainly dry, scattered storms back through uh, parts of uh, Mexico, and then watching out, this is the rain from uh, Alvin, and then watching out for some scattered areas of rain moving through parts of Texas with uh, that chance of some isolated severe weather. 40% chance of a shower storm today in Jamaica, 30% chance tomorrow, and a 40% chance on Saturday. Isolated shower possible in the Cayman Isles. It bumped up the rain chance slightly, not super high, but a 20 to about 30% chance, and a 40% chance with that tropical wave nearby of scattered showers around uh, in Trinidad and Tobago, more so Trinidad, more so southern areas of Trinidad. Isolated shower storm in Barbados, rain chance holding at 30%, a 40% chance of a passing shower today in St. Lucia, 50% chance of a shower storm in Grenada today, 40% chance for tomorrow, and about a 50% chance of some scattered showers. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 40% chance tomorrow, 30 to 40% chance in Martinique, and holding at a 30% chance over the next three days in Dominica. We swing to the north, Guadalupe, also that 30% chance of rain. Now, not a whole lot of rain as we work our way through Antigua, Barbuda, rain chance today, only 20%. Isolated St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, 30% chance of a shower, mainly dry Anguilla and St. Bart's, mainly dry as we get back through St. Martin, Saba, and Station. Rain chance 30% in Puerto Rico, could get a thunderstorm though, isolated 30% chance, just a 20% chance St. Croix over toward uh, Tortola and uh, St. Thomas today. 20% chance of a shower uh, back through the Bahamas, that would mainly be in our northern zones, about a 30% chance on Saturday. Turks and Caicos otherwise dry the next two days. 40 to 50% chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the Dominican Republic. Just a 20% chance today though in Haiti and we are very hot in Haiti. Rain chance stays limited in Belize from Ladyville uh, back toward Hopkins. 30% chance of a shower in Aruba. 30 to 40% chance uh, Curacao and Bonaire as we work our way into uh, tomorrow and again on Saturday. Rain chance, it is high in Guyana. Again, the flooding potential especially for today. Watching out for the flooding areas in Suriname, 70% chance of rain. Cuba, we're looking at a 30 to 40% chance, mainly late day thunderstorms popping up for some of us, and that rain chance stays on the high side. Gets even higher tomorrow and Saturday. Costa Rica and Panama up to about a 90% chance. Nicaragua the next couple of days, 40% chance. Builds a little bit in Honduras by Saturday. We're up to a 40% chance, 60% chance holding Guatemala and El Salvador. And Watching out for scattered areas of rain, a little bit more so as we work our way around uh, Mexico City. Rain chance will be getting higher. Yucatan Peninsula, though, stays minimal, just a 20% chance today. Northern Columbia, some of the dust around 30 to 40% chance, 50 to 60% chance back through northern Venezuela. And late on Saturday, Saturday night might be a better chance of rain into early Sunday as we get over toward Bermuda. So plenty to track this time of year. That new tropical wave moving in. The rain will be building in June. I'll be watching out for signs of development, monitoring those water temperatures and the environmental conditions above our heads. We're just a few days away from the start of hurricane season. Thank you for sharing this channel with your friends and family and have a really good day ahead.